2021 Kawasaki vs. 650LT First Ride Review But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. My water bottle is pinballing around in one of the Versus 650LT spacious hard cases. The hand guards are protecting my hands from the overgrown brush that makes this thin country road even narrower. The smell of dried brush is wafting through my helmet. It's a nice ride aboard the 2021 Kawasaki Versus 650LT. The rev happy engine cranks away, easily setting a brisk pace on the freeway back toward home. Hot summer wind is deflected by the adjustable windscreen, and any patchwork pavement is absorbed by the 41mm telescopic fork and the offset shock, it's a comfortable ride. With these excellent fundamentals, could the Versus have any faults? 2021 Kawasaki vs. 650LT engine. Spool up the Versus 649cc parallel twin with its 180 degree crank and you're rewarded with an entertaining growl across the lower to mid RPM, rising to a higher pitch after about 5000 revolutions per minute. The needle makes an energetic sweep across the analog tachometer, giving the rider visual evidence of the engine's fast revving character. Power delivery is very linear, there's 59.6 measured horsepower to feast on, and the tabletop torque curve spreads its bounty from 2,000 to 10,000 revolutions per minute with a peak of 41.6 pound-feet at 7,210 revolutions per minute. The Versus is fantastically fun for spurts between lights, commuting on freeways, or rambling around on winding pavement. This engine can really stretch across third, fourth, and fifth gears, sixth is only rarely needed on the freeways. On switchbacks, however, the Versus abrupt on slash off throttle and clunky six-speed gearbox become a tad tiresome. Closing the cable actuated throttle to slow down for an acute right-hander, rolling on for the corner exit, and then doing it all over again for the next left-hander is a jerky process. The shift lever requires a more forceful nudge than is strictly comfortable, the bike is more agreeable when settling into higher gears for a straight road or sweeping bend. What is the 2021 Kawasaki vs. 650LT like to ride? Total weight of the Versus, fully fueled, is 500 pounds on Cycle World's automotive scales. This weight is carried slightly higher than other bikes I have ridden, in part due to the large fuel tank and taller dimensions, though it certainly doesn't feel heavy when in motion. The wide handlebar allows great control, while admirable out-of-the-box suspension settings and more than 5 inches of travel at both ends painlessly tackles ribbed roads and sharp bumps that would usually be upsetting. The 41mm telescopic fork, adjustable for preload and rebound, has a tamed rebound and keeps the front end well planted. The offset single shock, which is adjustable for preload adjustability, also does well in filtering out any rough pavement. The Tulis rear preload adjustment knob is particularly convenient for two-up touring with full saddlebags. Dual 300mm front discs and two-piston Nissan calipers offer a progressive feel at the lever and excellent control for composed stopping. The rear's one-piston caliper and 250mm disc is only slightly less communicative than the front. The Versus falls under Kawasaki's adventure slash touring category, but the 17-inch cast wheels and street-oriented Dunlop Sportmax D222S definitely emphasize road and touring riding over flat-out adventuring. Things got squirrely while riding on paved backcountry roads occasionally washed out with dirt, the rear tended to skip out while the front tire was trying to find all available traction mid-turn. After this, expectations for dirt and gravel testing were low. However, the tires did better than anticipated on gravel sections, I was able to maintain intended turns without much drama. Still, a more aggressive tread pattern would make the Versus even more compatible for dirt, and dirt-covered, roads. 2021 Kawasaki vs. 650LT Comfort and Ergonomics The Versus wide, flat handlebar allows for an upright posture and a relaxed commute. The seat is narrow between the legs, impressive, considering the large 5.5-gallon tank capacity. While testing on various roadways, I recorded an average of 42.5 miles per gallon, decent fuel economy for an engine and motorcycle of this size, though it doesn't quite sip fuel like the Honda CB500X for example. The seat is supportive enough for longer trips and the adjustable windscreen and LT-specific handguards do well in redirecting wind from the rider. In the windscreen's lowest setting I experienced buffeting to the helmet, but unlocking the front knobs, no on-the-fly adjustment, and moving it to the highest setting eliminated the problem entirely. Once everything was in place I had no reason to adjust it further, riding in the Versus Air Pocket at freeway speeds was incredibly comfortable.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.